Hey everyone, so you're running a home lab and you've got this one nagging problem, right? You want that super smooth click and go remote desktop experience you get with Windows, but you want it on a lean, mean Linux VM. Well, you're in exactly the right place because we're gonna show you how to get the best of both worlds. I mean, let's be real. Have you ever set up a Linux VM on Proxmox and just thought, man, I wish I could just already pee into this thing like a normal computer, you know, without having to drop into a command line just to get started? Well, guess what? That's not a pipe dream. It's actually way, way easier than you probably think it is. And we're going to walk through exactly how to pull it off. So first off, why are we even talking about this? Why ditch Windows for a general purpose VM? Well, it all comes down to resources. In a home lab, your RAM and CPU cycles are like gold. A full Windows VM can be a real hog, eating up precious resources you could be using for other things. And look, the objective here isn't to become some kind of terminal ninja overnight. It's simple, right? You just want to remote in, pop open a web browser, maybe manage some Docker containers, and just use your computer. You shouldn't need a cheat sheet of commands just to open Firefox. All right, so you're on board. But now for the big question, which Linux do you pick? This is where it gets kind of fun, because you've got choices. And the best one for you really depends on whether you want to tinker a bit or you just want something that works right out of the box. OK, so let's break down the main players. You've got Debian, which is a huge community favorite. It is incredibly light on resources, but you do have to do a little manual setup for RDP. Then you have Ubuntu and Zorin OS over here, and these are all about making your life easy. RDP is basically built in, which makes them awesome starting points if you're new to this. Now, Debian is the top recommendation for a reason. It's super stable, it's efficient, and hey, Proxmox itself is built on it, so you know the compatibility is going to be great. You pair that with the XFCE desktop, and you've got a seriously lightweight powerhouse. But listen up, here's the absolute golden pro tip. After you install Debian, don't log into the desktop. Instead, SSH into it from another computer and install a package called XRDP first. Trust me, doing this one little thing first will save you from a world of pain with screen resolutions later on. But what if you want the absolute path of least resistance? No fuss, no muss. That's where Ubuntu and Zorin OS are just brilliant. In Ubuntu, turning on RDP is literally just flipping a switch in the settings. Plus, the community is massive, so an answer to any question is just a quick search away. Zorin OS goes even further. It's designed to look and feel like Windows, so it's perfect if you want to just avoid the terminal altogether. And hey, if every single megabyte of RAM is precious to you, don't sleep on these guys. Ubuntu and Lubuntu are built from the ground up to be crazy fast and efficient. And Linux Mint Debian Edition, or LMDE, gives you that slick Mint experience, but on top of that rock-solid Debian foundation. So many people say these feel way snappier over a remote connection. Okay, you've picked your distro, awesome. Now for the really fun part, actually getting that connection working. Let's dig into the tools that make the magic happen. For distros like Debian, the community has a clear favorite, XRDP. And honestly, the process is almost laughably simple. You just SSH into your new VM, run one command to install the package, and that's basically it. You can then connect with the same Microsoft remote desktop client you've been using for years. It just works. Now, you might be asking yourself, hey, why not just use VNC? And that is a totally fair question. But the verdict from the community is pretty unanimous. RDP just feels better. It's smoother. It's more responsive. It's smart enough to adapt to your screen size on the fly. VNC can often feel kind of clunky and laggy, like you're watching a video of a desktop instead of actually using it. VNC is a fine backup, for sure. But for your daily driver, RDP is king. Of course, RDP isn't the only game in town. There's this amazing tool called Guacamole that gives you a web page where you can access all your remote machines. Super cool. And don't forget about Spice. That's Proxmox's own built-in remote protocol. Some people swear it's even faster than RDP. Then there's Cockpit, which isn't a full desktop, but it's a slick web interface for managing your server. So you've got options. So you're in, you're connected, awesome. Now let's talk about making sure your setup runs like a dream and how to sidestep some of those classic beginner tripwires. This is all about getting the most bang for your buck. Okay, this right here is so, so important. Just look at the difference on this chart. The desktop environment you choose has a massive impact on how much RAM you're using. Something heavy and full-featured like GNOME is beautiful, but it's thirsty for memory. A lightweight option like XFCE uses way less. 
When you're running a bunch of VMs, that difference isn't just noticeable, it's a game changer. And now for what might be the single most important piece of advice for anyone running a home lab. Not every VM needs a GUI. In fact, most of them shouldn't have one. Your file server? Headless. Your Docker host? Headless. You can manage them all perfectly over SSH. Save the graphical desktop for that one, maybe two, general purpose machines. Your server's resources will thank you. Okay, let's do a quick rapid fire round of tips from the trenches that'll make your life a whole lot easier. One, always install the QMU guest agent. Two, before you do anything major, like installing new software, take a snapshot. It is a free undo button. Three, use templates. They'll let you spin up new VMs in seconds. And finally, don't be scared of the command line. Just dip your toes in. You will get the hang of it. So we've covered the nuts and bolts of getting a nice graphical desktop up and running. But what's really fascinating to me is that for so many people, this is just the first step on a way bigger, cooler journey. I absolutely love this quote from a user online because it just nails the experience. You start off with this one simple goal, right? I just want to RDP into a desktop. But that simple act opens a door. And before you know it, you're tinkering, you're learning, and you're building awesome things you never even planned on. And that's exactly why you'll hear people call it this, a gateway drug. A friendly desktop that you can easily RDP into isn't a crutch. It's an on-ramp. It's the thing that makes the huge, powerful, and sometimes intimidating world of Linux feel accessible and, you know, fun. So here's the bottom line. If you've been putting off using Linux in your home lab because you were worried about being stuck in a command line all day, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You've got fantastic options, from Debian to Ubuntu to Zorin, that give you that friendly experience you want. Getting that remote desktop up and running is an awesome achievement, but it really is just the beginning. It's the key that unlocks this incredible world of self-hosting, automation, and learning. So the real question is, now that you've got the keys, what are you going to build with it? Thanks for tuning in.